What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. We continue our schedule previews and projected records. Mississippi State is up next on the list. You look back to the 2020 schedule for Mississippi State, and it really wasn't too bad for an all-SEC schedule. Yes, they had to play Georgia out of the East, but they also got to play Vanderbilt, and they avoided playing Florida. So, you know, it could have been worse, but it wasn't a horrible schedule. Uh, everyone else in the SEC East was kind of in the middle, outside of Georgia and Florida there at the top, and, of course, Vandy at the bottom. Uh, but it was an all-SEC schedule, and it was pretty tough. We're going to see what this 2021 schedule looks like. And you can see right away, two tough non-conference games, NC State and Memphis. And before we go game by game, let's look first at those non-conference games and the games outside of the division. So outside of the SEC West, they will play Louisiana Tech, NC State, on the road at Memphis, and then Tennessee State. Uh, that's not a horrible draw. I mean, you're not playing any top 10, top 15 teams, but NC State and Memphis, both games that Mississippi State could lose. Uh, so that's a pretty tough non-conference schedule. And then you look at who they play outside of their division. They get to play Vanderbilt. That's the good news. And they'll play Kentucky. They actually play Kentucky every year. That's a really good draw. No Georgia, no Florida, no Missouri. Kentucky might be the third or fourth best team in the East. Uh, I, I think they will be third or fourth, but they might be the second best team potentially. I mean, I, I, it's hard to say with Kentucky, and we don't know how good Florida and Missouri are going to be, but it's not Georgia, and that's the good news. So I think this is a, a very nice draw getting Vanderbilt and Kentucky uh, in the SEC East. So they begin the year off on September the 4th. They'll play Louisiana Tech at home, then NC State at home September 11th, and Memphis on the road September 18th. I'm telling you, those two games back-to-back, -back, NC State and Memphis, going to be very tough for this Mississippi State team. If they can win both of those, look out. It could be a very, very good year for the Bulldogs. On September 25th, they will play LSU at home. Remember what happened last year. Uh, LSU, I think, will be a little bit more pre better prepared this time, but I think that it's a game that, L that Mississippi State will have a chance in for sure. Uh, then we go into the month of October. They'll go on the road. How about this stretch right here? I know they get a bye week between A&M and Alabama. But look at LSU at Alabama, or at Texas A&M, I should say, and then Alabama. Those three games in a row, you're playing the three best teams in your division all in a row. Yes, there's a bye week, but uh, I don't really think the bye week is going to do them much good before playing Alabama. Very tough stretch there. And then, again, you can even go before that and look at NC State and Memphis. Those five games in a row are going to be very difficult. But the rest of the schedule gives Mississippi State a chance. That's why I say if they can beat NC State and Memphis, even if they lose those next three games, they're going to have a really good chance down the stretch. On October 23rd, they'll play on the road at Vanderbilt, a game where they're going to be favored. Then Kentucky on October the 30th, two games there that if this team's on, on the border of maybe being a bowl team, maybe not being a bowl team, those two games are going to be big. You really need to win those two games. Uh, or looking at the next one against Arkansas, maybe two of those three games. They will play Arkansas on the road November the 6th. And then it's Auburn on the road November 13th. So back-to-back -back road games there. Uh, key games in the division. They will get Tennessee State on November 20th. Should be an easy win there. And then they'll finish things out with Ole Miss on the uh, last Saturday of the season. They're not playing on Thanksgiving this year. That is very disappointing to me. I always love watching the Egg Bowl on Thanksgiving. But they'll be playing on Saturday this year. Um, instead of on Thanksgiving Day. So this is the schedule for Mississippi State. Again, what jumps out to me is is a, a tough, tough non-conference schedule, but a schedule against the SEC East that I really like if I'm a Mississippi State fan, and a schedule that really gives them a chance down the stretch, like I said, from Vanderbilt to Ole Miss. Those are all games that Mississippi State will have a chance to win. Uh, will they win them all? Probably not, but they'll have a chance so you, you got a, really the, the hardest part of the schedule is in that first half from NC State to Alabama, and especially when we talk about LSU to Alabama, those three games. I don't know if a team in college football will have a tougher three-game stretch than that right there. LSU, A&M, Alabama, all three of those teams probably going to be top 10 teams or at least very close to it. Again, it's not three weeks in a row, but three games in a row with those right there. That's going to be very tough. And overall, I think the Mississippi State schedule, though, uh, sets up in a way where they could have a pretty successful season. They're going to have to just win 
a lot of these close games uh, when they play teams that are, you know, a lot of teams in the SEC, I think, are, are going to be in that same category with Mississippi State. And we're talking about Kentucky, Arkansas, Auburn, Ole Miss, uh, Vanderbilt's a winnable game. And even NC State and Memphis, those are comparable non-conference games. So, again, a lot of games that will probably be close. It's probably going to be a very entertaining year for Mississippi State fans in 2021. We've previewed the 2021 schedule for Mississippi State. Now we're going to give you a projected record based on that schedule. And like we talked about in the schedule preview, there are a lot of games that are going to be close, a lot of games that could really go either way. And I think you'll see exactly what I'm talking about as we get into this projection. So 4-7, and seven, their record last year. Can they improve upon that? You know, 4-7 and seven seems like a bad record, but against an all-SEC schedule, that's really not horrible. Uh, I think that 4-7 and seven record, again, not that bad. So let's, again, look at the scale here. If you're new to this, we use this. We If the game is a 50-50 game, basically a game that could go either way, a game where the spread is going to be three or four points or less, that's going to stay in white. If it's less than 10%, it'll be in red, 10 to 25% in orange, 26 to 40% in yellow, 60 to 74% in purple, 75 to 90% in blue. More than 90%, that is going to be in the green. And that's where we'll start with Mississippi State. Tennessee State, that is the game that we're going to put here in the green, and that should be the one easy win, pretty much a guaranteed win for the Bulldogs late in the year there against uh, Tennessee State. Get them a break before the Egg Bowl. Let's go to the blue now, games where I think they'll be favored by, uh, you know, double digits, 10 to 20 points, somewhere in that range, and I think we've really only got one, Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech's normally one of the better group of five teams, but they were not that great last year, and I think uh, Mississippi State definitely will have an advantage there, and they should win that game. So you've got two wins you can almost count on. And again, Louisiana Tech not quite in that green, but it should be a win for Mississippi State. How about in the purple? 60 to 74 percent games. These would be games where I think Mississippi State will be favored by about a touchdown. Vanderbilt would be the one game we'd put here. Uh, this one. Going to be on the road. Again, Mississippi State definitely, I look at these two teams, I think they're definitely a better team. The game was kind of close last year. Um, but again, Vandy is is really struggling right now. And because it's on the road, that's why this one does line up in the purple. If it was at home for Mississippi State, I might put it in the blue. But I think purple would be uh, better here for this one. Uh, so those are the games I think they'll be clearly favored in. Now let's look at the games where I think they'll be an underdog. And uh, you got two where they're going to be big underdogs. Texas A&M and Alabama, I think both of these games, uh, we're talking about Mississippi State being a double-digit underdog. You know, they played A&M kind of tough last year, but it was still a two-touchdown loss at home. Now you're going on the road. I think those are, are pretty much, you can count those as losses. It would be a big upset if they were able to win. Um, and then we go to the yellow, games where I think they're going to be underdogs, but not huge underdogs. We're talking about a touchdown, six, seven, eight points. And uh, you got a few of those, LSU and then Auburn and, and Arkansas, only because they're on the road. If those games were at home, those would be 50-50 games for me. But uh, I think on the road, I'm going to give a slight advantage to their opponents in, in these matchups. You know, Auburn beat them by 14 last year. And uh, then you look at Arkansas, that was early in the year. But yeah, Mississippi State did lose that game as well. So now you got to play them on the road. That's why I'm going to put those in the yellow. But, you know, I, I would be okay if you wanted to put those in the white as 50-50 games. LSU, I think, clearly, they would have to stay in the yellow. And then that leaves you with four games that are 50-50 games. NC State, Memphis, Kentucky, and Ole Miss. Uh, these games are really games that could go either way. Uh, and and they're, all, they're all tough to predict. You know, I think Ole Miss and Kentucky are probably going to be better than Mississippi State especially Ole Miss, but they're they're playing at Mississippi State, and the Egg Bowl, of course, is a rivalry, so you, you can't say for sure that uh, one of those teams is going to be favored by, I think, a touchdown or anything like that. Memphis is a team that we don't really know how good they're going to be. They've been kind of up and down the last couple of years. NC State that should be a solid team. I think they're pretty close as far as talent goes with Mississippi State. So these four games are all 50-50 games, and they're all games that really could go either way and if they're going to have a great year, they're going to have to win uh, probably three or three or four of these games. So what we do here is, is we average it out. We count the blue and the green 
we count those as law as wins the, the orange we count as losses and then we average everything else out and when you do that when you average all these games out and we're using 50% uh, for the white, 40% for the yellow, 60% for the purple, just kind of the formula that we use. Uh, anyways, when you apply that formula, the record for Mississippi State, 6-6. Six and six. And again, with a lot of swing games, a lot of 50-50 games, it would make sense that you'd have a 6-6 six and six record. Two wins, two losses, everything else can really go either way. I will say that they were a little bit closer to 5-7 and seven than they were 6-6, six and six, just because you have three games in the yellow here. Uh, but... Again, I think you'd be okay with that if you're a Mississippi State fan. You're still trying to build things with Mike Leach. Six and six is not great, but getting to go back to a bowl game, I think, would be a successful season, especially when you have so many games that could potentially trip you up on the schedule. You know, if they had four cupcake games in the non-conference, I think you'd, you'd want to do better than six and six. But when you play NC State in Memphis, uh, that does make it pretty tough. And I think that should be the goal for the Bulldogs, getting to a bowl game in 2021. Do you agree or disagree? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below. Give me your project projection on what you think this team will do uh, as we look ahead to the 2021 college football season.